Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about variables, constants and keywords. So let's start with the variable first. So we store our information in our brains. Similarly, computer has the computer memory where it stores the information. And just like the brain is made up of different brain cells, the computer memory is just made up of different blocks and each block is there to store some information. So let's say if you are, everyone has used a calculator and if I say add two numbers, so you give two numbers to the calculator, let's say 100 plus 15, that's the two numbers that you want to give it to the computer to calculate the sum. So this 100, the computer first of all has to store these two numbers. So let's say 100 goes to this particular memory block. Now, the name of this memory block you can go ahead and call it as anything, let's say number one. This is the name of my memory block. So this hundred goes into number one. So right now, number one is the name of this memory location, or you can say the memory block, and it has a value of hundred in it. Similarly, you need to store the number 15. So that will also be stored in the computer memory. Let's say we store number 15 here. So the name of this memory location, we can call it as number two. So number two has a value of 15 in it. So these two, the number one and the number two, these are called as the variables. So variables are nothing but the names of the memory location where you store the data. So here, now tomorrow you can come and you can go ahead and say, okay, I don't want 100 anymore. I wanted to add, let's say, 20 and 15. So there's this particular number one does not this variable does not hold this hundred anymore it has a new value of 20 in it so this is the new value of the number one so number one has a value of 20 now and number two still has a value of 15. since you can go ahead and change the value that's why we call it as a variable because the value of this variable varies so variable is nothing but the name of the memory location where you store your information now, you come across different kinds of information in everyday life, just like you have name to stores, like you want to store somebody's name. Let's say you wanted to store somebody's number. Let's say you wanted to store large numbers. Let's just like, okay, the distance between earth and sun. Those are like large numbers. Sometimes you also need to store decimal numbers, okay, like in with the with the point that's a decimal number sometimes you just wanted to store okay yes or no so you have an information like yes or no so if, which kind of information is going to be stored in this memory location that is called as the data type the type of the data that you want to go ahead and store and there can be different types of data you can have it storing a number you can store a name you can store a large number you can store a decimal number so in that respect we have different different data types if you wanted to store a name you you call the data type is called as string and how you write a string you write a string in the double quote so let's say i wanted to store a name called john so that's how i use the string data type so here Every variable has to have a type and as a name. So here the type of my variable is string and this is how I can write a string. If I want to store a number, you can either call the number as integer. You also have byte, short and long. These are just to store the numbers and numbers means without the decimal points. So why you have four different types? The reason to store four different types, we, we, both all of them can have numbers, is what amount of number. Is it a small number? Is it a big number? Or is it a very big number? So if you want to store a small number, you can go with a byte. If you want to store a little bigger than byte, you have short. If you want to store like average numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, that's an average one integer, you can use an int data type. When you wanted to store a big numbers, like... 277789 something like that so it's a big numbers you have a data type as long so these are the call the different data types if you wanted to store large numbers you can say long similarly decimal you have it double and float double is for very big decimal numbers float is for like an average size decimal numbers both can store decimal numbers like 17.93 it's a decimal number so if you wanted to store information like that you define it as double Yes or no. So that is called as Boolean. 
So these are the different types of data. So whenever you deal with the variables, you need to have few things in mind. Every variable should have a name. It also you should define the type of the variable and also it should have some initial value. So here let's say string name. Let's do some examples. String name is equals to John. So here in this example, example number one, this is called as the type of the variable. This is called as the name of the variable. And this is called the value of the variable, the initial value. So tomorrow you can say name is no more pointing to John. It has Steve in it. So that's that's OK. But the initial value, you started with the name as a John value. So if you look at the memory location, this is how it's going to look like. So this is the computer memory. In this computer memory, John is stored here and the name of this location is called as name. So this is an example. Similarly, let's take another example. Let's say int a is equals to 100. So in this case, what is the variable name? What is the type and what is the initial value? So here int is called as the type of the variable, the data type. This is called as the type of the variable. This is called as the name of the variable. And this is the value of the variable, the initial value of the variable. So if you see how it's going to look in the memory, you can think something like this. So this is the computer memory, which is divided into different blocks. And it 100 is stored here. And the name of this memory location is called as A. So this is the value that it stores. And this is the name of the variable. So this is about the variables. Similarly, in last example, if you wanted to store a very big number, so you call it as long number is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this case, this particular long is called the type of the variable. This is called the name of the variable. And this is the value of the variable. So here, if you look at the memory location, this is how 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The type of the variable, because it's a large number, you have a type as long. The number, this is the name of the variable, num. So this is about the variables. Now, what is a constant? So constant is the values cannot be changed. That's called as a constant. So 12 is 12. You cannot represent, 12 does not mean 13. So 12 is a constant. Just like variables, variables values can vary. That's why they're called as variables. Constants are something whose values are fixed. 12 is a constant. 13 is a constant. Now, what are keywords? Now, keywords are the reserved words that have a special meaning in Java. Just like we'll talk about what keywords are, what, what kind of different keywords are there in Java as you go ahead and learn. So, for example, some keywords, class, int, long. These are the keywords because they have a special meaning to these words. So those are called as the keywords or they're also called as the reserved words. So in our next exam, in our next tutorial, we're going to do a simple example using these variable concept so that you can understand it much better. I'll see you in the next tutorial and thank you.